The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we are going to use sidechain compression to get our mix downs popping. We're going to make our drum transients crisper. We're going to make our beat sound more organized. I've put together a beat. Let's hear it without sidechain compression. And then I'm going to show you where I would add it to help this mix down sound cleaner. So as you can hear, not a lot going on. The production's pretty sparse, but I'm gonna show you what happens when we add our sidechain compressor to our whistling noise. So the first thing we're gonna to do to make this a sidechain compressor instead of a regular compressor is expand our advanced options, turn sidechain on. What sidechain means is we are using another audio source to control the volume of our whistle. So our volume source to start with is gonna be the kick because in any production, the kick is super important. So when we... Play, you can see it's starting to duck it down. We're gonna duck it down more. Pull it down all the way. As you can see, it completely blocked out almost that entirely that first syllable of the whistle. Uh, and I don't want it to do that. I want it to just get out of the way for the transient of the kick drum. I don't want it to stay ducked down for the entire duration of the kick drum. So what we're gonna do to fix that is turn on our EQ use our low pass here and get rid of everything. We're really just getting the click 15 kilohertz of our kick drum. If we solo our whistle channel and solo our sidechain input here, it's that tiny little ticking noise right there is all we're sidechaining it to. And that's from our kick drum. Uh, that actually may be a little excessive on this gonna pull it down you see as we pull it down it gives us more of our kick drum and get, in turn gives us longer uh, attenuation we're gonna turn this all the way up just so we could see uh, full sidechain compression going here so now when we turn our solo off Now our kick drum kind of cuts through a little bit more. And to help it cut through all the way, we're actually gonna use our tack all the way down. Now you're really getting that click that you don't get. And it almost sounds like we EQ'd it and boosted the highs, but really they were just being muffled by our whistle. If your song sounds like it's pumping a little bit too hard right here on the dry wet knob. I actually didn't mind it at 100%. Sometimes you can get away with it full blast like this. Usually not. Do you produce music and love making fat Moombatan beats? Are you addicted to the dance hall rhythm? Do you find yourself using that same old reggaeton loop again and again? Then we've got the product for you. Get your coconuts ready for Hot Tropics, our brand new sample pack of Moombatan, Afro Beat, and Dance Hall hits. Here at Whole Loops, we've handcrafted over 200 organic loops and recipe kits for your tropical bangers. Hot Tropics is available now at wholeloops.com. But uh, we're going to duplicate this, Command D on the keyboard shortcut, and we're going to do one for our snare. And because our snare is more top end and less bassy, we want to do the opposite on the EQ, where we just want the thump that's in the beginning of the snare, and we don't really want the hissy kind of white noise tail. And then we're also going to do the opposite on this knob. So we're trying to get that snare as short as possible. You can see if you can sh shorten it some more with this. So 
notes and you could see our from our snare drum we're only side chaining it to the uh it's probably too low to even hear but the very very thump of the snare is side chaining our whistle now too and as you can see as i turn the attack up we lose the crispiness And I, I like my snares crispy, so I keep it down here. Now, if we copy these, we can paste these onto anything else that may be competing. We could put this on our pluck. Kind of gave it a little bounce, a little choppiness to it, which in a hip hop thing is kind of cool. Sometimes it's not, if it's not sounding cool, hit the dry wet knob, smooth it out, get it smooth. You can even put this on your hi-hats. Put it on our cowbells. See, now it sounds kind of stupid on the cowbell. We're gonna back off it, just hit it a little bit. But man, as you could hear, we really took this. And pumped it up quite a bit just by decreasing the volume of stuff at the right time. So as you could see, this side chain really did a whole lot of cleanup in this mix down. I hope this gives you a new take on side chain compression. I certainly use it in every song. If there's something that you would like me to talk about in another video, let me know in a comment. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. I will catch you next week. Peace out.